Hello guys, and today I'm going to show you how to work with the bridge, the bridge protocol and data mine. So basically throughout the game you meet, you see a lot of uh, such terminals. You can connect to them depending on your intelligence. Um, this required five intelligence in order for your, you to be able to connect to it. And then uh, in the upper side, here is like a buffer. Here you enter your sequence. There are four slots for your sequence right there, right now. And there are three uh, data mine demons I have currently available. Um, in some cases with quick hacks, for instance, you can have more. And uh, the longest sequence I have to enter is three characters. It's BD, 5.5 five, and BD. As you see, when I hover over them with the mouse without clicking, actually uh, I see all the occurrences of this character in the grid in the code matrix here on the left. This is where you actually have to enter uh, your sequence and uh, there is like certain amount of time you actually have but um, without clicking it doesn't uh, start so it's actually it's very very convenient to just uh, figure out what you want to click first and then just quickly click it so if i for instance um, if I want to go uh, for the large amount of euro dollars, so data mine v3, it's actually nice to just plan like I have a bit D here and a bit D here, so this is like the starting point. But then I need a 5-5. I have a 5-5 here, for instance, and uh, a 5-5 five five here and here. Like you can see all the 5-5s. Five so then I need another BD. So basically how it works is you start first a vertical column. It's highlighted. Then when I click here, for instance, I have to have this um, this horizontal column. So uh, it's like a right angle at the same uh, at the intersection point. And then I will go right or left. There is no left in this case. So if I click here, it's 5-5 five five, and then another BD. So this will actually unlock this sequence. And uh, this will also, it happens to be the same sequence as the data mine too. So if I do this right now, I will basically have um, I will have the both data mines. Let me just quickly do it. Or actually, I can also plan another one. I like this one here, for instance. It's BD, 5-5 five, five, and BD. So I click it here. You see, now the other column is there. And I don't have enough time. So just like quickly click it. As you see, I installed like two uh, data, mine, uh, data mine protocols here. And I got some money. You see how much money is on the transfer on the left screen. You just saw it. There is however more to the bridge protocol, so let me show you. Uh, you see like the time up there, it's 23.68 seconds. If I go out of the terminal and then go back into the terminal, it will be less than that. And also, something uh, also will be different, like the sequence here, like I have 1C5555555 PD. If I go out and back in again, it will be different. So if you want to actually aim for higher rewards, you can uh, do this uh, going out and going back in. It's different now. It, if uh, in nine BD BD C one C and five five, but you see like the time goes down again and again. Um, you can also click actually, and you see like the time runs out. Uh, I can uh, then click escape. I have two point eighteen seconds. And the lowest time I think you can actually have here is 6.3 seconds. So uh, I had like 2.18 seconds and I see you see that now I have 6.3 seconds. And uh, so you can actually this is enough to like click around. So it's almost like infinite reset of those sequences. If you really want to have uh, some money and have like um, more than one of the data mines, you just uh, go out and go back into the terminal. One other thing is actually how you can do mo multiple sequences. Uh, I already showed you like uh, how you can do it if we if we have like the same numbers, but if you don't exactly have like the same digits and numbers, um, you have to end like the, the first sequence ends in a certain character like E9. And then if the se next sequence starts with E9, then it can actually work. So if, for instance, if this ends in E9 and this starts in E9, I can do this one. But unfortunately, I cannot do this one because I only have like a buffer of four characters. And there's one uh, very interesting update here you can do in your intelligence step. 
uh, you can actually um, reduce it's actually called compression it reduces the length of sequences required by upload demons uh, the upload demons are the ones on the right those data the, those three data mine demons are actually i think the upload demons so uh, it reduces it by one it cannot be reduced uh, below two so if i have like a sequence of four i would have then a sequence of three uh, but as you see that uh, actually now i have uh, three different sequences of three and um, for instance, if I go 1C, BD, and then 1C, uh, so I have like 3, and then um, I, I can actually do... Let me try if I can actually do like the first one and the last one. So I need 1C, and um, let me see where the BDs are. 1C, BD, 1C, and then E9. Um, I'm not sure if it actually worked, but, but let me try. Maybe it worked, like 1C. BD. All right, it failed already because uh, once you start a sequence, you actually have to. Once you start a sequence, you actually have to enter all the characters in the correct order. You cannot like insert. You cannot have insertions. Uh, and that's it, basically, guys. Uh, the tutorial about how to deal with data mine terminals. So. I hope it was useful for you and interesting. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up and also you can subscribe to my channel. I'm uh, very new to YouTube, so that would be very much appreciated. And have a nice day, guys, or evening or morning. Mm.